What's going on everyone? It's another video. That previous video I put up, that was filmed months and months and months ago. Um, I just thought I'd apologise. I took some time out. Um, just had a lot of stuff going on, so I've sorted all that now. Uh, you can probably tell I've lost about three stone. So, um, I feel so much better in myself. We just, I don't know, I just need to sort a few things out in my life before. I get back into doing everything that I love. So we're back and this is a video I've wanted to do for ages, but it's trying to find, um, it's trying to find another bat box. So basically, I don't know if I've spoken about it in previous videos, but the bat box on this, it, um, it rattles. The baffles have gone inside it. Miltech, you know, is what it is. So, um, I found another bat box, which is a valved one. It looks like off a really low mileage car because when I get it out, you'll see the sort of on stainless steel and that you normally get like a heat patch and that. This hasn't got it at all. It looks all pretty mint. It's got the valves of it already. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting the new exhaust on, taking the old one off. I need to change my tips over. Um, because the tips it come with were the oval ones, I'm not really a fan of them, so I'm gonna keep my um, I'm gonna keep these ones on the car. Uh, so I just pull them off. I put them onto the new uh, back box. I do have some oval tips. If anyone is interested, just DM me and uh, we talk about a price. They're all in pretty good condition and that. And if anyone's interested in the old back box, I don't know. Someone could weld. If someone knows how to weld, they'd fix that easy it just needs to be cut open baffles needs to be welded again and then welded back up and then it'll be a good miltech exhaust it's non-valved so yeah let's get into that i've just reversed up on some wood because the car is quite low and uh can't really get the jack under it so we've got it up on the wood i'm gonna whack the jack under it gonna jack it up put some axle stands under there and then get straight into it and also the video after this i've got so many videos planned now now we're back i promise we're back we're going to be doing it properly this time um if you guys stay to the end i've got a massive announcement to make um future plans not even future it's happened but i want to do a video on it so wait to the end i tell you that you have to watch the video after this to actually see it i put a video in of what it sounds like now it sounds it sounds awful this is with the ac on so obviously naturally the engine revs a bit higher but that's my main problem so they get it coming as well. so i don't know if you'll be able to hear me over that but it just sounds awful so yeah today turn it off so today that should sound beautiful um touch wood i always say that nothing got us right so yeah let's just crack straight on right so yeah we've jacked the car up now i've put an axle stand on it i've jacked one side off i think i should be all right with one side but, but yeah basically um there's a one mount there, one mount there, that's on a sort of a rubber hanger and then we've just got to undo this back bit which is just here, that should be a 30mm, it's not looking good on that um, bracket but I've got some new brackets so we're all good there so yeah we'll get that off, get this mount off, get this mount off and then the back box should just drop off hopefully so yeah let's crack on with that, I'll put you lot in a time lapse whilst I undo I'll probably start with that one see if I can get that a bit loose and then we'll undo that because the back box is quite heavy but you guys can hear already look it's done it's done out here but I suppose yeah someone could easily cut and weld that cut it weld the baffles up and then it'd be a good exhaust but I haven't got time to do that and um the deal I got on that exhaust, I couldn't grumble, so uh, 
yeah, we went and grabbed it. It was a bit of a journey, I'm not gonna lie. It took about two hours to get there. No longer, two and a half hours to get there. And about three hours back, because the M25 was, well, as it is all the time. Got it out. It wasn't too bad. It took about 10 minutes, not even that. So yeah, we've got it out. It's a bit of a pain doing it on your own. Um, but yeah, we've done it. I've got to try and get the tips off now. So I want to put them on the other back box. Then I'll show you guys the other back box. But I'll talk to you a lot quickly. What I had to do. So you've got uh, one mount there. So it's one 13 mil, another 13 mil there. And then that was a 13 mil, but it's caught a few speed umps. So it's uh, pushed itself out to a 14 mil fitted on it good. So yeah, we can get that off now. Anyway. So yeah, look. So half of the bolt was gone. So I managed to get a 14 mil on there. We've got that on, we've got that undone. Um, what I'll probably do is I'm gonna clean that up. Um, I'll clean the bolts up, change the tips, whack, the, whack it on the other back box. The other back box has got all of this already, so I ain't got to mess around with all the rubbers, which are normally a proper pain. So yeah, what I'll do is, I'm going to get the new one out, um, and then I'll show you like it in the next clip. Old tips off the old back box. You'll see what I mean, I'm about to show you the new one. So, this is the one I just picked up. This one's about four years old. So you can see, look at look at the heat patch. That's obviously where the center pipe comes in and then it disperses it. And then this one, tiniest bit of heat patch. The stainless steel is in really, really good condition still. Now, the pipe looks brand new. That one looks old. So I think that I got a pretty decent deal on that. And it also come with the, with the valves already. Um, because like an idiot, I chucked away the stock exhaust with the valves. I don't know why I done that, but I did. Um, also got new rubbers on this one. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll probably whack it on first, and then um, sort out the tip placement when it's on the car already. Because I can I can do them up from underneath, so I'll get them all lined up perfect, and then. We'll get them on the car and then yeah i think this is going to be the hardest part is trying to get that on myself because that is pretty heavy i didn't realize how heavy it is but they are pretty heavy and then trying to maneuver it on myself well by myself but well we we'll do it i promise we'll do it so yeah let's get on with that we'll get that in i just can't wait for to hear what it sounds like and as well this one's got valve so well, I'm just cruising, shut the exhaust. Obviously it won't be dead quiet because it's still non-resonated, but it should be a lot quieter than just having it all open. So. So if you come under here, we've got the new back box in, we've got the, that all bolted up, we've got the mount there, oh, we've got the tips on, so we've got all the tips back on now, um, yeah so let's give it a little start up and see what it sounds like.
so happy with that. Sounds exactly how it should sound. Oh, I'm so happy that annoying rattle is gone. Because the, the, the clip you'd have seen before, that is with exactly how it is now with the AC on. A bit of high revving and that. That's how it'd be. So I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy. But um, let me pack up and then um, I'll catch up with you lot. I want to tell you something that I said at the start of the video. So if you stuck around, thank you. Give me two minutes. It'd be like two seconds for you. So basically I forgot to film an outro the other day when we done uh, when we done the golf's exhaust. Um so I thought I'd just uh jump back on now as I'm editing it as we speak. So obviously I said I'd let you lot know some news and if you lot stuck around to the end, I appreciate it. Basically so we've got our own unit now, so I've ended up securing a unit. So the content's only gonna get better and better. Um should be moving in very soon. I'm just waiting on the person to sort out a few little bits and bobs and then uh, I'll be moving all my stuff in and all that so we'll be able to crack on with the Mini properly um, I want that to be a full blown sort of a track car, race car whatever you call it I'm really excited, it's just going to open up the content we can film the things we can do, no wind noise ain't got to worry about the weather so um, I'm excited to get started uh, and do it all properly so yeah i just want to say thank you a lot for watching i appreciate you all make sure you like comment subscribe leave a comment below what you think of the exhaust i would like to get a resonator to make it a bit more quieter but yeah it'd be all right but yeah just make sure you all like comment subscribe and then stay tuned for more content and i'll see you lot on the next one